the National Council of Churches of Kenya, is on record recommending that the measures are taken to provide for dignified opposition. The proposal for creation of the office of the leader of official opposition is therefore a step in the right direction. Quite notably, there was appointed a holder of the office of the Prime Cabinet Secretary, a position that currently does not exist in the Constitution. The proposed establishment of the office is therefore a move to rigorize what already exists. Our recommendation on these two offices. In the Constitution of Kenya 2010, the citizens outlined the structure of government and which position is to have which mandate. Recognizably, the Constitution is a covenant of the people of Kenya, and the citizens therefore have power to review it to improve the welfare of the nation. We strongly recommend that a grassroots-driven process be allowed to run in which Kenyans have discussed on the two proposed positions to determine their scope, mandate, and sustainability. A review of the structure of government, government should be people-driven. Our recommendations as NCCK, having considered the foregoing, the NCCK holds that singularity of the amendment of the constitution will not resolve the gap in implementation of the two-thirds gender rule. We therefore recommend the following. A. The state to prepare and release a comprehensive report detailing the measures taken, taken to comply with the provisions in Article 27, Subsection 8. The report should, also, should show laws, policies and strategies as well as reporting on actions taken when state bodies, organs and committees have failed to adhere to the rule. B. Public participation be facilitated to enable Kenyans input on the legislation, policies and strategies for compliance with the Constitution through implementation of the two-thirds gender rule. C. Parliament to comply with the requirements of Article 100 by developing and enacting the required legislation.